Okay, so first up for the Balkan factions, you have, sorry about that, you have the Gete. The Gete are the only free Balkan faction. Their core consists of spear units, um, but they do not have a high tier melee unit. Uh, their biggest strength is the fact that they are the only barbaric faction, excluding the nomads, that have shock cavalry. Their shock cavalry unit is quite dangerous when you think about the cost of their spear units. Although they do not have a have good melee attack on average with a decisive hammer and anvil tactic, the spear units can hold long enough to for a nice rear charge. Their specialist unit is the Foxman, a two-handed melee unit that can that has an absurdly high charge bonus but terrible melee defense and cloth as armor. They also have a hidden bonus of 15 versus cavalry. Uh, so using them as supporting infantry isn't a bad idea. Do not rely on falcsmen or spearmen too much because they are low tier and won't last forever. Cycle charging with falcsmen into infantry is a good idea but you have to have a holding unit or else medium infantry will decimate you. You also have to be good with your micro. You will also have a hard time dealing with Sparta because their core units are very sturdy. They're also spear units as well, and last a very long time themselves, meaning it is possible that rear charges are your only option to defeat them. Even then you would have to cycle charge. Not bringing shock cavalry is a, practically a death wish if you're going up against a good player. If you want to be offensive, bring the high tier swords that they can bring which are the noble swords, as well as the mercenary axes that they have if you can. To summarize, Gete is quirky, but a nice challenge to play as. I'd recommend you play as them once you feel confident in your ability to hold a unit and rear charge it. Just be careful when you're going up against the Greek city-states. Although their cultural description makes it seem that the Greeks were afraid of them, this is not true in-game. So, in my opinion, the Gete beat Colchis. However, there is the possibility that they um, don't. This is just my theory. And they lose to Sparta because of Sparta's overall um, sturdier units and very tanky units. What does your core, what does your typical army look like? Usually, noble swords would be your core, or not your core. It would only be your core if you're going offensive. Um, noble swords could be a good general. Your core spear unit is armor, armored spears. They have the mess melee defense besides the noble spears which are high tier. They are pretty sturdy. They are heavy as well. Whereas heavy spears are medium. Armored spears used to be very heavy and heavy spears used to be heavy. Which is why they are heavy. Um, Dacian spear warriors aren't the best, so I probably would not bring them except for like Ken fodder. They do have good armor though. Basic spears are very questionable. Skirmisher wise, you have a good amount of skirmishers, but you don't have any slingers, so you have to be careful against the Iberian faction in that aspect. So your shock cav unit, which is your main killing power in most cases, uh, ha is pretty good. They're very heavy. They have 53 melee attack. Uh, they have um, 63 charge. So they should be able to do, they should be able to land a hit on pretty much any unit that doesn't have expert charge defense. Their melee defense is 22, armor is 60, health is 100. Another fun fact about Spear, um, the Dacians, is that their horsemen have decent armor but a very high health. Um, you won't see this with other factions for similarly priced units. They cost 550. Dacian horsemen cost uh, 500 but have 80 health. Um, yeah, you don't see that often but yeah it's a pretty nice trait bow horsemen are very similar to the nomadic horsemen they're just slightly better than step horse archers um, and I'll talk about the nomads next stream 
So overall, your core, if you're going for a general type of battle, you'll have axes. If you want to be more offensive, just bring noble swords, but you'll have to invest a bit more into them. You won't have to rely so much on chalk cavalry for killing power, but chalk cavalry can still be useful. Falksmen can be very questionable. Um, not everybody brings Falksmen. I do sometimes. I find them to be very useful for what they can do. Skirmisher wise, Dacian Heavy Bowmen are very useful. However, Dacian Peltas and Dacian Heavy Skirmishers um, are very good. And so you might want to look into them. Either one's fine. I'll be talking about Thracian Peltas in the next segment. And um, I'm just going to take another minute 30 break.